not here for a fight. We're not here to uh, any kind of violence. And any time that our people have, uh, it's always been in reaction as opposed to us coming and committing these violent acts on anybody. You know, when you look around, you see the people who have come here to support you, to, they're, they're people from all over the place. What's that tell you? Does it tell you that what you're doing it, it, it cements, you know, the, the meaning behind it? Absolutely. And I mean, like, in, you know, half of this crowd is people from, you know, Caledonia and Hamilton and along the track and along the Haldeman track. And like, and so yeah, to see those people come out to say, you know, like, you know, holding their, what is that one? Socialism, not settler colonialism. And, you know, like, this is awesome. The QP folks, like, all the labor unions that have come out and supported us and done whatever they could to, to support what's going on here. It's an amazing thing, you know, without them, you know, we wouldn't be here 100 days later. The fact of the matter is, is that you have been here for 100 days. It's been 100 <laughs> days tomorrow. 100 days. And that's a significant amount of time to not have any meetings. Have you heard yet, even after yesterday, from anyone willing to sit down and you know quote what? I break think, bread? Uh, Carolyn Bennett, uh, Crown Indigenous Relations Minister, has dragged her feet on this for 99 days. And so if Carolyn Bennett's going to continue to drag her feet, I think uh, the, there, there's only one outcome, and that's for the police to keep on enforcing this injunction in the way that they are. And so if we're, if we're going to let uh, these politicians continue to drag their feet on a... If we're going to let these politicians continue to drag their feet, uh, Carolyn Bennett needs to step to the table. I think we've had plenty of what she's had 100 days to get her get to the table and uh, have meaningful dialogue with our people. Uh, for us, you know that it's it, it's all about our connection to the land. You know, it's about our in our inherent right for our grandchildren to be able to have that opportunity to be able to get to uh, uh, those uh, those land rights that that our people have been talking about for the last. 100 years, 200 years, you know, and this this, this uh, particular judge saying that, you know, that we're not going to um, uh, see any of that come come to fruition with any anything with this permanent injunction and a permanent injunction on roads that haven't been paid for and the lands over there that haven't been paid for uh, and they've been squatted on for the last 200 years in some instances. And so we need to be able to push that conversation forward with the federal and provincial government uh, and, uh, the feds have been saying for five years now that they, they, they're interested in nation-to-nation -nation relationships and this is something that you know we need to be able to be pushing forward all the time. Scott, have you seen the, the flyer that went around about the RCMP yeah, warning? I mean, I guess these are all the uh, professional looters and uh, terrorists right here coming together all as one. <laughs> yeah, I know, I've seen the... Uh, I've seen all that. I think uh, James Bradbury is... It, you know, has had his uh, uh, moment in the sun to be able to try and get the you know racist rhetoric out there with you know rebel media and all these folks that have you know continued that same uh, uh, bigotry and ignorance that uh, has been uh, a staple for them since forever. So it, it's. It, it's become somewhat typical for us.